Hey everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. So on today's vlog, it is actually Tuesday. I was supposed to vlog yesterday, but I've been like super busy working with my business since we are starting to receive all the fall merchandise. That's when I'm like the busiest because I have to like put everything in the computer. I have to write everything down. I have to do inventory. I have to do the prices. I have to do just so much that I was so busy yesterday and I was busy today. But I was like, you know what? Right now I'm busy too. I'm working on my business. I've been working it since the morning since I woke up. It's already freaking 4.24. But anyways, I thought I would share what I'm doing right now because I said that I was gonna be sharing like business things here on the vlog because I know a lot of you have asked me about like to share more of the business side of everything and how everything's going. So I wanna share what I'm doing. So right now, I'm basically doing my tags. My tags that I hang on my clothes with my company logo on it and everything. I'm doing them different than what I did the first time. So the first time around, I ordered them from Vistaprint and they weren't even that pricey, but I ordered them because I was, you know, I'm still, I was learning everything and trying to get into the business stuff. I just didn't want to make it complicated for myself. This time around, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make them because I mean, I have a Cricut and every time you have a Cricut, like having a Cricut and owning a business is like a must, especially if you want to do like your own like tags, your own things like that, you save money. And you know, the Cricut is very, very helpful. It does everything for me. Right here, these are the tags that I am doing and I changed them a little bit. When I ordered it from Vistaprint, it was very different. I don't have one to show you guys right now, but it was just very basic. All right, so as you can see, my Cricut is cutting my tags for me. And this is the final look of how they look. So good. I did the back like this too. If you would like me to do like a full video on how to do this, let me know in the comments down below because it was a little tricky and it took me a long time to learn how to do this. I've never done the thing in the back where you have it in the front, in the back. So this is something new that I just learned today. So like I said, if you have a business or if you're trying to learn how to do a business, um, let me know if you would like me to do a tutorial on how to do like tags. Just let me know in the comments down below, but these are all the ones that we've done so far in the Cricut. It's doing its job, it's amazing. I just designed my own one here on the Cricut. And then I just have a normal Mac computer. I've been having this Mac for years. My printer that I've been having for years as well that I only got for like, I wanna say like $20 at Target. It was on sale, on clearance. This has been with us for years. It has like a fax machine and anyways, I want a new one, but I'm thinking since it still works, it's doing its job, everything's coming out really good. I'm thinking of just waiting till it actually like breaks down for me to buy in one. Um, but for now, like, I mean, if you're trying to start a business, just buy like a cheapy one to start with until you work yourself up. That's what I'm doing. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna wait till it breaks. I don't know, we'll see how the future goes. So if you're planning to do like your own tax, you definitely need a printer, you need a computer. It doesn't have to be a Mac. I love a Mac, so I am obsessed with anything Apple. And you need a Cricut. This is the Cricut Air. I know that there's newer ones. I bought this years ago when I started my bow business. I just love the Cricut so much, especially if you have a little small business. I definitely recommend the Cricut. You can use it for so many things. Guys, and I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek of our fall merchandise. I am so excited to start showing everything. Whew, but it's gonna be a busy week. Um, I still don't know how an exact date on when I'm gonna release it just because I don't want to be in a hurry and I like to be patient with this, especially this fall line. I really want to change like the way my Instagram looks, the way I take pictures of the product. So it's gonna be a lot of work this time. So I don't know when it's going to be available yet. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek. I'll be updating you if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow my business, then you're gonna be seeing like pictures of them go up before I even release them. So I'm so excited to start like taking pictures of them and stuff like that, but it's gonna be like a super busy week. All right, I'm gonna get back to work because I have a lot of things to do. I'll catch you guys maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but I'll see what else I can vlog this week. Bajale a tu desmadre, por favor. Okay. Guys, it's a new day. It's a Wednesday, and today we are going to try the Popeyes spicy chicken sandwich. So everyone's raving about this sandwich. Everyone's saying that it's better than Chick Fil A's. Well, let me tell you, I love Chick Fil A's spicy chicken sandwich so much that I'm gonna tell you if it actually tastes really good. So, and I'm gonna say the truth. I'm gonna say the truth, 
and we're waiting in line but dude every time we came to Popeyes it's always empty we're literally just drive through and today I guess everyone's trying to try this sandwich it is so freaking busy let me show you guys parking lot is full we are in line we've been in line for about a good five minutes already but look at the line seriously dude like we're always just drive through there's never a line I'm excited to try it I want to see what the whole rave is about everyone's talking about it so let's see and then you know I love to eat even though we're eating healthy we thought about just sharing the sandwich since we are eating healthy and we've been doing really really good these days um, but when I seen this line I was like do I really want to share it with him do I really want to share it with you sure why not I don't know because there's a there must be a line for a reason I think I want my own I want to give it the full review. I want to finish it. I want to savor it. Anyways, let's see how it goes. We're ready to try it. So you want to show them how it looks so I can get mine out. Ooh, that's a big piece of chicken. It's bigger than Chick-fil-A's, let me tell you that. All right. Let me know what you think. Bruno's not a fan of Chick-fil-A, so I don't think his opinion even matters at this point. God, it looks juicy. So what do you think? Is it spicy? No. Is that spicy? No. Did they give us the right ones? It doesn't look like it. There's a sauce. It's just a sauce. It probably is like it. Let me see. Mm. They don't taste spicy. Mm -mm. The Chick-fil-A one is spicy. This is not. It's not spicy. Well, <clears throat> apparently, I think it's the sauce that's only spicy but not the chicken like at chick-fil-a the chicken is actually spicy not the sauce so it's good it's moist it's perfect it's a big piece of chicken as you can tell bigger than chick-fil-a's but is it better than chick-fil-a's no in my opinion it's not better than chick-fil-a's the chicken is really good though but i mean if you want to try it go for it it's still good it's not a waste of money it's good it's delicious what did you think about it it's moist I'm not a chicken sandwich person, but, but if you look at it, that, that's big. That's a big piece of chicken. Big. The sauce that it has in there is a little spicy, but not like... It's not even spicy. Let's just put it like that. It it's has not, like a, just a little tinge yeah, like, of spice, but like not pepper. like... Not like, oh my God, it's spicy. I don't get why they're comparing it to Chick-fil-A. I think it's just the chicken that they're comparing, but other than that, like... Chick-fil-A is better, in my opinion. We are done! I'm about to go finish this and gain all the calories that I've been saving all these days. Alright, so this little girl really wants to see what I bought. I ordered something from Amazon and she's been begging me to open it, but I was gonna open it, but you gotta wait, okay? No. Learn how to wait! No! Okay? No! Well, here we go! You ready to see what I got? I think you're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Bruno's gonna do the favor and open it for us. I want to see his reaction. He's gonna be like, "Really, Janae? Is it that? Is it is it that? Because I ordered two things for my business, and then that just for me. A microphone. Yeah, to yeah. see. And bags. Oh, they came in there. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I ordered these bags for the business. Wow. Oh my god! I bought myself a microphone. Mama. Guess what color I got? What color do you think Mama picked? What color? Yellow? I did not pick yellow. Do you not know me? Pink? Yes, I picked pink. Ah! Oh, and it's wireless. Let's see, let's see. Ay, va a cantar como Gerardo Ortiz. Hey! hey, hey. Oh! Un dos, un dos, un dos. <laughs> Can you be a, a music singer, Beth? Si nos dejas. <laughs> <laughs> finish it, finish it, finish it. Come on! The Bluetooth device what? is connected successfully. Why does she talk like that? I'm just missing swan. Hey guys, it's another day. I'm hi, Claire's saying hi. So I just finished up filming a video. I told you guys I would keep you guys updated on this vlogging channel. Um, so I did the Chloe, following the Khloe Kardashian makeup tutorial. Let me ask my husband what he thinks. What do you think of my makeup tutorial? Like you? It's pretty, huh? It's like natural. Eyes are watery, guys. Every time I go out in the sun, the sun makes my eyes really watery. So the 
the makeup is coming off right here on the side. Normal, it does it with everything, but it's annoying. Vlog I haven't vlogged in a while. Like I told you guys, I've been very, very busy all these days and I'm gonna be busy. Um, right now, I'm currently just taking a break to go get some coffee with my hubby and Claire over there. Oh, Mugrosa. It's how she usually gets 24 seven more at home, Mugrosa doesn't even we don't even do her hair we don't even do anything because we're just home I mean like there's no point on doing anything to her or changing her because she gets dirty and she doesn't really care you want to tell him something what I do day. you have school today <laughs> no you don't mama yeah. no you don't yeah. I know you love school but you it's your day off you get a day off she thinks she has school today no Claire you don't go to school on Saturday and Sundays She's telling me practically to talk to her feet. Oh my god, my eyes are so watery. I need to wear sunglasses. Do any of you guys get watery eyes like this? I do. To the point where it looks like I'm crying because of the sun. It's annoying. Um, and it's always like one eye, usually this one. All right guys, so I'm just gonna go get my coffee and then we'll see what else I vlog today or tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day of vlogging. All right, so it is Sunday. Today is the last day of this vlog and I just wanna quickly- Hi, hi. You wanna say hi? Hi. Hi. Can I get the uh, four piece of the caramel cheesecake bites? Okay. And that'll be it. I want some cheesecake bites, some cheesecake bites, some cheesecake bites. I want some cheesecake bites, some cheesecake bites. Cheesecake bites. You just haven't tried some cheesecake bites from Del Taco. You need to try them. I think you're gonna be addicted to them. Like these cheesecake bites are so good. This is how they look, but they're so hot, pretty man. They. Yes, they're hot. They fry them. I used to work at Del Taco, a little fun fact, right when I got out of high school. That was practically, not my first job because I worked like other jobs but paid under the table. So it wasn't like a real job but I made money, you know what I mean? Well, anyways, Del Taco was like, no, it was my second real job. Because I worked at Rusty's. Gosh, the sun, guys. So I worked at Rusty's. That was like my first real job and I got fired like the first week. Anyways, let me tell you guys my little story since this vlog's gonna be short of why I got fired from Rusty's Pizza. So I used to work in the phone section where you answer phones and you take orders. Like you're in like, it's like there's a lot of computers, you're like in a computer room and we took orders through the phone and then put it in the computer and then it goes straight to the kitchen through the computer. Well anyways, I was training my first week, you know, you're still on probation, they're still checking you out, see how you do. Um, somebody called talking really ugly to me, like really ugly. And me, I'm those kind of people that if you're being really mean to me and very rude to me, I'm gonna defend myself. <laughs> so I basically, like, he was really, he was being really rude and I was just being rude back and we had our managers in the front, you know, hearing our phone calls all the time and they would take over if we needed help if somebody was being really rude. Well anyways, that day, I just, I just couldn't take it and I was rude back, got the damn son again. And, you know, I got laid off work. They told me to go home and they told me to come back the next day to pick up my check because they didn't need my service anymore. And then Del Taco was my second job. Luckily, I got hired at Del Taco and I was at Del Taco for a good year. I never even ate at Del Taco before until I started working there. And I was like in love with Del Taco's food. Like, I feel like it's way better. You might have an argument with me about this, but I feel like it's way better than Taco Bell. I know a lot of people love Taco Bell. For me, honestly, I choose Dal Taco better than Taco Bell. I feel like Taco Bell is more nasty. I feel like it's not nasty. It tastes good, but I feel like it's more bad for your body. And then, like, I feel like Dal Taco is more healthier. They put more fresh things out there. So I prefer Dal Taco till this day. And I loved working there. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. We are just going to eat our cheesecake bites and then call it a day. It's already late. And... Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed our vlog. And I'll talk to you guys on my next vlog. Bye, guys!